Jakey boy, we are back in the foil corner to doing a few little reviews and today I brought my beautiful friend Jacob. Uh, Jacob was also does a lot of uh, wing foiling, surfing, kiting, uh, bloody rips and all these things. So I thought I'd rather bring him in. Uh, he's been riding the Phantoms a lot and today we're going to talk about the full Phantom series both in the FCT and the full carbon. Uh, and you got one of the FCTs there, foil right. compression system. Mm -hmm. uh, and we got three sizes. 1680. 1680, this 1480. one. 1480. And this one. And 1280. And the 1280, exactly. The 1680 is new for this year. Uh, first thing I want to say about these foils, same shape as the full carbon, uh, but the foil compression system, it's like a pressed fiberglass and you put it on a alu fuselage. Uh, you can swap it with four screws that you have here, uh, so you can uh, easily buy a bigger one and then you buy a 12 8 or the 14 8 a little bit later and, and you can just swap, instead of swapping the wing in your hand, you can swap the front wing or the foil and you get a wider range to use for a very well priced foil. So it's, uh, you get a really good foil for good value. Uh, we were selling th those sizes and the gravity in the same foil compression system last year and I didn't have one on warranty. So the quality of these ones are really good. So very well priced foil. Uh, and uh, now you get a lot of foil up for your money mm -hmm. on these ones. Uh, the 1680 has a 6.4 aspect ratio. And uh, has a lot of glide and speed in, for being a, such a big foil. You can actually pump it nicely. Uh, so in, if, if you're a little bit heavier rider, if it's a little bit lighter wind, if you ride smaller waves, if you want to ride behind a boat or something, the 1680 gets you going really fast. 1480, a little bit smaller, a lot of people buy the Ford 1480, both in carbon or the FCT, as a first, uh, a first foil if you've been uh, a little bit into other kind of, sport, of surfing sports. Uh, so that's a really good one-sized foil to start with. 1280 is a, a really fun foil as well to do surf foiling with, uh, a little bit faster. Mm. So. Uh, very interesting series at really really well priced the FCT. And would we recommend. Go, would recommend, exactly. And we mm -hmm. go to the carbon. And we have the carbon starts on 1780. Mm -hmm. So even bigger than the 1680. And I don't have it here. Uh, we sold out on them. Uh, so we don't have any in stock at the moment. Uh, we used that a little bit behind a boat. I think we were pumping yeah. it last summer also. A yeah. lot of lift. A lot of lift, a lot, lot of pump. Lift. Perfect foil to learn how to pump with. Uh, has a lot of glide, really easy to feel what the foil is going to do. If you're a heavier rider, a lot of guys are a little bit taller and heavier, been using it and they've been loving it and get them started, but this goes a little bit faster than a lower aspect. So, um, so the 1680, really fun foil. And then we go from the 1680 to the 1480. We have a 1480 here somewhere, don't we? Have, there it is, yes. I would say the 1480 is probably the foil we've been selling the most of. Uh, a lot of people really got good at foiling with the 1480. Uh, for me, surf foiling with the 1480, I'm 90 kilos. That's that been a really nice foil for me because it pumps good for me as well. Uh, and the Phantom series for surf foiling is really nice. So uh, so the 1480 has been a really good size for me. I think, have you tried it, surf foiling? Uh, yes, but only a few times. Yeah. But it's uh, for me it's a lot of lift because I'm yeah. a little bit lighter rider. Yeah. So, but it pumps very easily. So. Uh, and you can connect waves very easily with this one. The 1480 and the 1280 be my go-to foils for surf foiling uh, and uh, the 1280 as well for winging in lighter winds. Comes with different recommendations of fuselage. It's the C275 uh, stabilizer on that one. Uh, but as we said in our other review, we talked about mixing it up. Use different fuselage lengths. Try different stabilizers. Uh, I think there's going to be more stabilizers coming out. So with one existing foil you have, you can get a lot of different kind of feelings out of the foil, depending on what you want to do. Mm. Different lengths of fuselage. There's a lot of different options at the moment uh, that can change the whole feeling of the foil. Uh, the longer fuselage you have, the more stability you get. Pumps a bit better. Uh, get much more stable. Uh, and in the shorter fuselage you have, the more liveliness you're gonna get in the foil. It's gonna turn faster. Uh, you're gonna do faster cars, but you're gonna lose stability. Uh, but it's a very 
fun thing to change around on. Very fun. So, uh, so it's good. Same thing with the stabilizers. The recommended stab for the, the Phantom is the C275. Uh, and it's a very nice stab that works for pretty much everything. But you can mix it up as well, do small ones. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's good. And the 1480, I think we're done on that. Great foil to start with. Uh, great for surf foiling, pumps very well. For my weight, it's been a really good foil to do surf foiling on it as well. Uh, it's not super fast, so you probably after a while want another foil to complement with to, to go faster. Mm -hmm. So, and we got the... Uh, maybe surf bigger waves. Exactly. Mm. A bit more put Like also if you're in a bigger wave with this, it's gonna tend to push you out of the wave uh, when the wave breaks. Uh, here's a 1280. Come on, Jake Boy. What do we have? How many, what aspect ratio and how long is that one? Uh, 5.9. And it's 80, 87 centimeters wide. Uh, you use that a bit. Mm -hmm. It's very nice for surf foiling. Um, still quite a lot of speed in it, yep. even though it's uh, for me a bigger wing. Um, but very nice to pump with between the waves. So it's uh, a lot of glide, which is very nice. I, for me that foil has been amazing. I've been using it a lot as uh, both surf foil and wing foil. If it's a little bit lighter wind with the wing, it's, uh, it goes a bit faster. You just feel that straight away. The speed difference from the 1480 to the 1280 mm. is a quite big difference. Uh, if you come from the 1780 you're going to have a second foil, the 1280 is perfect. If you've been on the 1480 and you want the second foil, the 1080 is probably perfect for you, your weight and your skill, skill set. Uh, but uh, the 1280 has been a really fun foil, great for surf foiling. Yeah. Uh, still my favorite surf foil if you're going to paddle, yeah. if you're going to prone. And turns very well too. Turns really nice. Yeah. So uh, so it's a very cool foil. Somewhere around 1280 you get a much more liveliness in the foil, a bit mm -hmm. more speed. Uh, you don't feel you're stuck in the water in the same kind of way. Anything else to say about that? Full mm -hmm. carbon, super solid. All of these ones, you can hit stuff, you can just sand it up. Put a bit of epoxy in, and then you're all good. So, uh, and there we come down to the favorite. Oh yeah, Jake's favorite, 1080. <laughs> so uh, we go on that one for sure. Jacob's favorite foil. I've been riding this for uh, quite a while now, and it's a uh, it's a very nice foil that works in a lot of conditions. Yeah. Uh, for me, it has a lot of glide and gets going very easily. Um, and it's, I've been using it for winging and surf foiling and also a little bit for kiting but it's probably best for winging and yeah. surf foiling um, but for surf foiling it's, uh, it's, it gets me going even in uh, weaker waves um, so it's... Uh, you really dial in on that foil, you really know where you have it, you can push it so you, you, can, you, breach, you breach the water with the tips and you really feel where you have it all the time and do really nice and tight turns on it so. Yeah, that's been a, like it's more like a shortboard when you start to go down yeah. those sizes. A little more like a shortboard. Um, to move down in size uh, from a bigger foil, it's going to give you much more maneuverability in bigger waves. You're going to not get as overpowered in stronger wind. Uh, so it's a really nice thing to to really do. Like you have to have probably two foils at least, and you need something a little bit smaller to handle stronger conditions. If you have a too big too too big foil in to heavy conditions, it's not going to be fun. Yeah. It's just going to push you out on the water all the time, yeah. and it's just frustrating. So a lot of times when you can, might maybe start to feel frustrated, it's not maybe your uh, your level that's bad. It's just you need another foil, so you're going to keep on developing. Yeah. So I would say the combination like the 1080 is an amazing foil when you want to get down to a little bit, you get higher speed, smaller foil yeah. to get more uh, get more out of your sessions. Yeah. Uh, sure. We talked about that before as well, like to have a, to have a smaller foil and even a smaller board. Uh, you're lighter than me, you ride the Rocket Surf 20, Eight. 28 liters, and that's a really small board. Uh, and I'd probably be from a 34 up to, uh, like now I'm riding the Rocket uh, Wing S board, 50, 48 liters, and it's amazing for me. But if it's an under 50 liters board, you need a little bit bigger wing. But uh, the the feeling you get out of the board with the smaller board, if you ride waves, for example, yeah. it's much better. Much nicer. Yeah, much nicer. Like if much it's too big board and you're gonna try to wobble around on that board, it's really hard to really appreciate the foil you have in the water. So yeah. I would say try to get down in volume. It doesn't have to be 
super small. Like I was down on 34, but I went back up to like four between 40 to 50. Yeah. Uh, for me, that's 90 kilos. That was better. Uh, I'm having much more fun. Yeah. So uh, rather have a big wing like the CVC six or seven, you get going in really light wind with a bit of technique, but uh, mix it up with your foils. Yeah. So so it's good. And after that, we go over to the Phantom S series. Came yes. out last summer. A little bit higher aspect, not a lot, but a little bit higher, but a much thinner profile. Uh, these foils, you got the 8, 840 there, the, the 940, the 840 and the 740. Uh, I spent a lot of time on the 940, I spent a lot in South Africa with a lot of downwinds on it, bigger waves. Super nice in bigger waves, it goes from rail to rail really good, handles speed very nice, it's very forgiving for me. Uh, so this foil out there for winging, it's really nice. Surf foiling in big waves works as well, but especially for winging, I had a lot of fun on these on these ones. Yeah, you've been trying them as well in different sizes. So yeah. What's your feeling? Yes, it's uh, even more shortboard than the 1080. Yeah, and it's uh, super fast. And but still, even though they they are a lot faster, it's so much control. So you can really feel where you have the foil in the water. So it's uh, a lot easier. Making nice turns on these. Yeah, I would say like to have you need a like a Phantom S in your quiver to handle those kind of conditions, bigger waves, uh, stronger wind, yeah. just to feel comfortable. So like, like the both, uh, I've been mainly on the 940 and 840, and I really like them. But we have the 740 as well. If you want to go in really strong wind, if you want to do do more airs and flips and tricks like all the 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 crazy boys, yeah. this one have it handles even more. The 740, we got really good feedback, it handles speed very well, and it's also really forgiving. It's not that it's crazy and too small in any kind of way. Uh, so if you get the possibility to demo these boards, uh, these foils. Yeah. Same thing for kiting. If you come from a Mirage foil and you want to try something new, or you want to like develop more into waves, you want to have higher speed, these ones are just it's more like a sports car. It goes faster. Uh, you need to be a little bit better to ride them, uh, but it's also going to develop your riding a lot. So a lot of guys here, they ride like a 940 and a 740 as a combo uh, and they're on like a 4 banded S and they ride pretty much any kind of conditions on that and they love them. So it's not only a wing foil, that's really good. Yeah. Uh, all these ones come with different, these ones is recommended with the Stab C250. Same thing here, you can mix it up, try different lengths. If you feel that it's a little bit too, too loose or whatever, just take a little bit longer fuselage. Uh, all that kind of thing, mix it up, try different lengths on different foils. Uh, and, and take the steps. If you start to feel like, ah, this doesn't really feel right or something, like a Phantom 1480 is an amazing foil for that kind of condition and that level you're at or what you're gonna do. But you need to try other foils, a little bit smaller sizes and mix it up. Yeah. But you're gonna have like a similar feeling. So the Phantom Serio is, uh, is bloody amazing. Yeah. So it's a very good, uh, it's a good range of foils. It's a very good range of yeah. foils. So, uh, so that's pretty much it. Mm. 940, 840, 740, Phantom S. Uh, and there is a, we didn't talk about 980 from, yeah. uh, from the little bit higher aspect that comes from down to the 1080. We're going to have that in stock soon. And it's just because that step can be a little bit big between the 1080 and the 940 for some people. Uh, so that's also a foil that you have. But these ones are really a foil I recommend to try. They've been out for a while, a lot of people ride them. Uh, but just that you ride a bigger wave, you get it down on the face. And instead of that it shoots you out of the wave, you go into the bottom turn and you have control. You know what it's going to do. And so you can more control, okay, where do I want to go on the top turn of the wave? Where do I going to put my position to, to get around this section? Because you know what the force is going to do. It's not going to shoot you up. It's not going to do anything crazy like that. Yeah. So uh, it handles speed very well and it's very predictable. Really fun force. Very fun. Anything else you think about with these, these things? you said most. Yeah. Uh, you can have a carbon mast, the high model carbon, but also works really nice with the alu mast. Yeah. Uh, for especially when you ride waves and stuff, it's fine with the alu mast. Yeah. It's still a really good foil. Yeah. It doesn't have to be carbon. Carbon is nice, but alu is also for sure really good. Yeah. With winging, we mainly do ride 85 centimeter mast. Yeah. Surfing. Surf maybe 75. 75. Yeah. If you're gonna tow, some probably a little bit bigger. Yeah. So uh, are we gonna do that? That's the next thing here. To get these ones out, our new, it's gonna be, this is the kite board, but we're gonna use it as a tow board behind the ski or behind the boat. So we got some nice boards that kind of just came in as well. A lot of toys for the boys and the girls. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go.